common mistakes we make when treating acne and which foods can help you to heal your acne for good long term. Welcome to Gut Feelings. My name is Peggy Schirmer from PeggySchirmer.com. This channel is all about helping you improve your digestion so you can live an energized and joyful life. Today's theme is all about avoiding the common mistakes we do when treating acne and what you can actually do right now to help heal your acne with food. This video has three parts. In the first part we're going to talk about what are the common mistakes that we do when trying to heal acne. In the second part I'm going to share with you five foods that help you boost your immune system, boost your lymphatic system so you can heal acne long term. And in the third part we're going to talk about foods that you need to avoid for not making acne worse and feeding acne. If you are somebody who suffered from acne or you're still suffering or you're suffering from time to time, please know I'm really with you. I know this is a big, big issue for a lot of us with having these acne, especially in your face where everybody can see it or on your back when you are out there at the beach and it just looks really, really bad. And this can be a huge issue for our self-confidence, for the way we feel in our body. And it's not only about look, it's also something in your body is up. Our skin is our largest organ in the body. If we have a problem with the skin, it's really important to look inside the body what's happening there. Now, let's start off with the common mistakes that we make when treating acne. The first one is probably the most commonly used, that is applying creams and ointments on your skin for trying to heal your skin from acne. Natural skincare is a great way to support the process of healing acne and I'm going to share with you in one of the next videos a cream that I've developed that can help your acne in addition to all the other things that you're doing to heal acne from internally. But just applying creams doesn't help your acne. It can be just an additional thing but we need to look at the underlying cause and address the root cause of acne. If you don't know the root cause of acne yet, watch the first video in this series where I'm discussing what are the common mistakes, what we think is the problem for acne. It's not hormonal, it's not related to an overproduction of sebum in your skin. It's related to a bacteria, a resistant strep bacteria in your liver and in your lymphatic system. So just applying creams doesn't help with acne. And on top, most of the acne creams are actually really, really aggressive for the skin. So the scrubbing of your skin can actually do much more damage to your skin because you naturally have a film of healthy bacteria on your skin. And what you do with applying all these products and creams, you destroy this bacterial film. This bacterial film is essential for protecting you against environmental toxins, against the sun, yeah, you really need this bacterial film to protect you from the outside world. So be really gentle on your skin there and address the root cause. The second common mistakes that we often make and that actually doctors still are prescribing against acne are antibiotics. Antibiotics were useful in the past to treat acne and they had good results. That's not going to say that I'm recommending them. But now we have not only a strep, but we have a resistant strep. So these antibiotics don't do any good for you, but they clog your liver. Yeah, antibiotics get stored in the liver. They are problematic for your liver and they're very, very problematic for your digestive system because they also destroy the good gut bacteria that you need to fight against strep and to heal your acne as well. A third common mistake is using a very, very powerful and very dangerous drug called Accutan. You can't get that just over the counter. It's only for people who suffer from severe acne. It's banned from a lot of European countries already. I'm not sure if it's still available in the US, but that's a very, very dangerous drug because it causes infertility. It does all kinds of damages to your body. It's related to birth defects. And what it basically is, it's a type of vitamin A, but synthetically produced, causing nosebleeds and all kinds of other serious health issues. So stay away from that. If you never heard of that, even better. To summarize this part, neither skincare, products, washes, whatever, nor antibiotics, nor Accutan will actually address the root cause of acne. 
Yeah, so we're gonna focus in everything we do for healing your acne, we're gonna focus on the root cause, which is based in your immune system, especially in your lymphatic system. And we're gonna go against resistance trap by supporting your immune system and fueling your system with natural antibacterial foods. So now, second part, let's look into what are the five foods that I recommend you to eat on a daily basis to heal your acne and strengthen your immune system, strengthen your lymphatic system and also your liver and your digestive tract. The first one, we have garlic and onions. If you can eat that raw, that would be great. What I'm doing often, I'm doing a juice, yeah, like a celery juice, a cucumber juice, and I just pop into the juicer another glove of garlic or some onions. If it's raw, it contains all the enzymes and it fights strep, it's antibacterial, antiviral, so that's uh, one of the major ways to get rid of strep and to heal your acne. Second group of foods are leafy greens. And you might have heard me talking about in different videos about the health benefits of leafy greens. Even if you don't have acne right now, eating ample amounts of leafy greens raw and cooked are awesome for your health. And what they do in acne, they strengthen your immune system. We're talking about kale, talking about spinach, chard, lettuce, they all help over time to improve your nutritional status. Yeah, so your immune system gets really, really strong and can deal with acne much, much better. The third food tip is carrot juice. Carrot juice would be great in the morning, for example, to wake up first thing you have, a, if you suffer from acne or you want to prevent acne coming up again, doing carrot juice in the morning with a bit of ginger, Ginger is also antibacterial and antiviral, but the carrot juice has like super, super high amounts of vitamin A and also a bit of vitamin C. And vitamin A is awesome for your skin, so you can boost the regeneration of your skin with carrot juice. Fourth are cherries and other berries. It doesn't really matter if you are into raspberries, blackberries, wild blueberries are awesome, sour cherries, sweet cherries, whatever you can get hold on, make sure every day you have some berries in there. They are high in antioxidants, they protect your skin, they are nutrient dense and they help fight strep because they are often also antiviral and antibacterial. The fifth food is my favorite food. If I would have one fruit only to choose, it would be this one and that's bananas. Important here, ripe bananas, they need to be ripe so you can absorb the nutrients and they're good for your digestive system as well. Bananas are both antibacterial, antiviral, they have a lot of good potassium and your digestive tract. They have vitamin C and they're easy on your stomach. Yeah, so make sure to include two, three, five, ten bananas per day. Now to summarize this, the best foods you can eat for healing acne is based on fruits and vegetables. Yeah, you want to make sure you get as much vegetables and fruits in there. One way to do that is for a time to go vegan, yeah, to not eat any animal products for a while because they are calorie dense, so you can't eat so much vegetables and fruits. Fruits and vegetables also have the highest nutrient density, so we're making sure we fuel your lymphatic system and your liver to get stronger against the strep so you can combat them and eliminate them out of your system and don't have any acne anymore. Now, it's really, really important that while you eat all these foods that we've discussed, that was banana, cherries and berries, leafy greens like spinach and kale, carrot juice and garlic and onions, it's really important to not eat specific foods. And then we're going to talk about these are four food groups that I highly recommend you to eliminate, at least over the time you're suffering from acne and you will probably notice that if you reintroduce them and there was still some strep in your system, it's gonna come back again. With acne, you really have to be a bit patient because this strep bacteria is not only in your lymphatic system, but it's also deeply entrained in your liver and this just takes time to heal. So now, what are the four foods that I recommend not to eat? First, and that's really the main feeder for strep bacteria, there's nothing around it, it's either cooked or raw, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it's organic or wherever you get it, it will always feed strep. Eggs, in whatever form you can get them, they feed strep, leave them out in any, in any case. Second one are dairy products, we're talking about milk, we're talking about butter, cheese, 
even the good for the probiotics, yogurt, kefir, goat's cheese, cow's cheese, it doesn't matter if it's goat or cow or organic, it doesn't matter, it always feeds strep. So leaving that out is very, very key for healing acne. The third one are gluten and grains. Things like wheat, rye, spelt, and very key here, corn. Corn is also a grain, it's not a vegetable, it's a grain. Corn, any corn products, corn starches, which are often in foods that are packaged and labeled. Look for things like citric acid you want to avoid. These are all feeding strep as well. Yeah, so go gluten-free, avoid as much as you can grains. If you really need to eat grains, go for quinoa, rice, amaranth, things like that, buckwheat. This is also all safe to eat, but make sure the main things you eat are fruits and vegetables. And the fourth food group are vegetable oils. No margarine, no canola oil, really, really bad. We don't want any hydrolyzed fats, they're really bad for your liver. They also make it difficult for your immune system to get up and running because it needs to fight against these toxic fats. So you wanna make sure you avoid these. In general, while you're suffering from acne, it's very wise to reduce your fat intake as much as possible. Yeah, so I actually don't recommend to use any oils. If you need any oils, then use coconut oil. And if you're craving for fat, use half an avocado per day. Yeah, half an avocado per day is great. Reducing also seeds and nuts is beneficial because fats are actually the most difficult to digest from your digestive system, also the most heavy on your liver. And we want to heal your liver, we want to heal your lymphatic system, make it as easy as possible to so reduce the fats as much as possible, consume coconut oil if necessary, and avocado half per day is perfect. So summarizing this third part, avoid grains, gluten, yeah, also corn, avoid eating dairy products, avoid eating eggs in any shape or form, and vegetable oils, hydrolyzed oils, margarine, canola oil, and reduce the fat intake as much as possible. In the next videos about acne, we're gonna look into what supplements you can use to help speed up this healing process while eating the foods are recommended to you, and which teas, herbs are beneficial for healing acne. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm curious about your process, how it's going. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Love to answer them. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can always, so you're always updated with the newest videos. Have a lovely day. See you soon. Bye bye.